on WVUA News at 6. Ground is broken on one of the first energy efficient homes in Alberta City. I'm Jennifer Edwards and I'll have details coming up on WVUA News. And we'll show you the most common form of plastic surgery and you might be surprised at what that is. Plus, a fatal crash claimed the life of a Tuscaloosa County woman, the latest on an earthquake in Chile, and why cold and allergy meds could soon be hard to get. The news starts right now. You're watching Alabama's WVUA News at 6 with your award-winning news team, Lynn Brooks, Philip Coleman, weather with Richard Scott, and sports with Gary Harris. Less than two weeks from now, we'll mark the year one year since the April 27th tornado ripped through parts of Alabama and signs of recovery are continuing to pop up all over West Alabama. Alberta City was one of the hardest hit areas in Tuscaloosa. Now they're building back green. WVUA's Jennifer Edwards has that story. Saws buzzing, boards flying, and hammers hitting nails. As the area that was hardest hit, I think it also, of, of any other area in the city, I think it also gives a lot of hope and, and excitement to people who are now, you know, in, ready to build back. The sweet sounds of progress in Alberta. Exactly what Councilman Kip Tyner and the Home Builders Association of Tuscaloosa want residents to hear. We as an organization wanted to move forward, step up and, and build a home. Kynard says the home is being built with the Tuscaloosa Forward vision by being energy efficient and affordable. We're doing closed cell foam on the roof deck as well as the walls. Uh, that makes it extremely energy efficient, cuts down on the air infiltration. Uh, we, we're using a uh, high energy efficient uh, heat cool system. We're using tankless gas hot water heater. We're using low e-glass windows. Uh, all those things combined together makes it extremely energy efficient. Not only will this home be energy efficient, but according to the Home Builders Association of Tuscaloosa, it will also serve as an example for future home builders. We just wanted to do it to let people know that it can be done, that it can be affordable, and we're building it both for the first time home buyer and, and, and anyone who might be interested in a new home in this area. Kynard says the home is scheduled to be finished by June. In Tuscaloosa, Jennifer Edwards, WVUA News. And Kynard says the home is for sale and will cost around $150,000. As we draw closer to the one-year mark of the April 27th tornado, memories from the experience may bring about strong emotions. Some people may not know how to handle those, but experts say these feelings are normal as people move through the grieving process. Marriage and family counselor Dick Hastings told us people don't need to rush through the process. He says the issue is how you handle the memories and putting them into perspective. I think feelings can't always be predicted, but if we anticipate that there might be some that we're going to have to work through, it would be important to be prepared for that. For counseling information in Alabama, you can call Project Rebound, the number 1-800-REBOUND or 1-800-639-7326. You can also reach Dick Hastings at Educare Incorporated, that number 205-248-6000. New at 6, one person is dead after a fatal car crash in Tuscaloosa County. This happened just north of the Fosters community. According to Alabama State Troopers, around 6.30 this morning, two cars collided on Gainesville Road. Troopers say 28-year-old Misty Lee Smith of Ralph was killed in the wreck. Officials say the car she was riding in was traveling southbound when it crashed into another car traveling northbound. The driver of that car and three children were taken to DCH Regional Medical Center in Tuscaloosa. A child in the other car was also injured and taken to Children's Hospital in Birmingham. The cause of the crash is still under investigation. On your Crime Watch tonight, Tuscaloosa County authorities are searching for answers in a murder investigation. You may have information that could lead to a suspect. As we reported last Thursday, the body of 50-year-old Greta XL Johnson was found inside an abandoned mobile home on Sanders Ferry Road. According to Tuscaloosa Metro Homicide Captain Lloyd Baker, Johnson died as a result of blunt force trauma. Baker says the victim was last seen March 3rd and reported missing to Northport Police March 9th. 
If you have information about Johnson, call Tuscaloosa Metro Homicide, 205-464-8691. On your money watch, it's time to turn in those taxes. Unless you filed for an extension, today is the deadline. It also happens to be Tax Freedom Day. That's when the average American has worked enough days in the year to be free from their tax burdens. Experts say this year the average refund sits at just over $2,700, down about 3.5% from last year. And if you've been looking for a job, there are some perks there regarding your taxes. Experts say you can claim all of your job search related expenses. We talked with some people today who say the end of the tax season always seems to sneak up on them. I've been doing a lot of things which has prevented me like studying, um, working around the house and all of a sudden I looked at the calendar and said, oh my God, I got to get these taxes in. So here I am. I feel you know, relieved. Should have done it sooner. I intend on doing it in January every year, but I never do. I'll do better next year. <laughs> and for more information on the tax deadlines, you can contact the Alabama Department of Revenue at 334-242-1170. Buying your common cold and allergy medicine could become a lot harder. Here's why. The Alabama Senate expects to consider legislation designed to limit the illegal production of meth, and the Senate Rules Committee recommended the bill to the full Senate today. This would allow ephedrine and pseudoephedrine to be sold only in licensed pharmacies. Convenience stores and other retail businesses could no longer sell the over-the-counter product. The bill would also limit the amount of the product that a person can buy. Still ahead for you here on the News at 6. What